What's happening in the Philippines? A lot is happening in the Philippines. <laughs> As you may know, it's a neo colony of the United States. Oh, um, but we, I mean, it's been a colony for yeah, like I way said, back. Well, it's been colony since the Spanish invaded back in yeah. the 1600s. But uh -huh. they didn't really get their freedom. <laughs> they never did? No, I mean, in some ways, you know, they say they, they have did. elections. They elect their own presidents, uh, Duarte and. Uh, uh, Duterte? I mean, yeah. do Duterte, how do you pronounce it? Duterte, Duterte, uh, Duterte. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, some would say that they elect their own president, but um, regardless, uh -huh. you know, Duterte has done a lot of horrible things, and what uh -huh. we're trying to do is just educate people in the uh -huh. U.S. a little bit more about the situation going on there. Uh -huh. um, a lot of U.S. money currently goes to uh -huh. arming the Filipino National Police, which a lot of times just go and execute their own citizens who challenge the government. So You mean the communists that challenge the government or just just, just anyone anyone anyways. who's trade unionists uh -huh. is land activists. Basically they use the mark of communists to label people who, uh -huh. who oppose the government uh -huh. and who speak out against it uh -huh. as a way to just extrajudicially kill them. Uh -huh. um, which, you know, even if someone is a communist, like first of all, being a communist alone is not necessarily a crime. But also, yeah. there's supposed to be a judicial process, right? Like, if someone sure. commits something, they should go in front of a judge. They should be, yeah. you know, adjudicated guilty or not guilty for yeah. whatever crime it is. But what is really happening uh -huh. is that the government is just going out and killing people who oppose it rather than going through that judicial process. So I we're see. trying to get, you know, it's not a huge thing, but it would be cutting military aid to the Philippines until they sort of change their policies uh -huh. and that those who have been doing this are accountable for their crimes. So what are you suggesting that we uh, support, who are we supposed to support, let's see, worker, worker suppression? So we're, what we're saying is to just cut the military aid. It's not necessarily pro-supporting anyone in particular. There are uh -huh. some progressives who are currently running in the election. Uh -huh. Generally, I think a lot of people uh -huh. are supporting. In the Philippines, you mean they're running, in the election? Yeah, because yeah, it's May 9th um, for the presidential elections, May 9th. Oh, so the, the, the elections are just coming up in nine days in the yeah, Philippines? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Oh. Yeah, but, but, the, but the old, um, the son of the former dictator is running um, for president, and right uh -huh. now he, you uh -huh. know, there's been a lot of oppression happening. It does seem like he is in the lead. We don't know how, you know, there's been a lot of voter suppression also overseas, like ballots have not In the Philippines, you mean? No, here too, because there are a lot of overseas voters who have the right to vote in their election, but they have not gotten their ballots. You mean the Filipinos that Filipinos live in New York? Oh, I see, okay. And who's suppressing their votes? Great question. I mean, all of the, what we can say is they have not gotten their ballots. We would argue that it was there was some sort of government collusion in it. Um, the current president, Rodrigo Duterte's daughter, Sarah, is also running. And you know, uh -huh. if she gets elected, and if the former, if Juan Juan Marcos, the former um, dictator's son, gets elected, it's very likely that the same policies that have been happening will uh -huh. kind of continue and that there won't be accountability for the crimes. There won't be investigation. I they see. Done. So that's I why understand. we're sort of trying to give people a little more information who might not be as familiar <laughs> sure. with it. This is just a union that I'm in. Um, oh, I see. I was like, there's yeah, no yeah. Philippines there. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm just an attorney. <laughs> oh, I see. Here, and so this is the union that I'm in. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that's what I'm going around. And but when you're saying that, the, on, on the one hand, you said that the Duarte was not elected in the fair and square elections. And yet, the elections coming up uh, in just nine days from now, how can it be sure 
the we elections will think, be. We don't think they're going to be fair and square. But what if uh, Duarte's opponent uh, wins? Then will we declare those yeah. elections fair? As I mean, long we as. We don't necessarily declare anything fair. What we're going to still do is just, regardless of who wins, we're uh -huh. going to keep pushing for accountability. Uh -huh. And we're basically just concerned that accountability won't happen if the Duterte's continue to hold power. Uh -huh. um, and that we can't guarantee that it will happen if any of the opponents win. But, you know, it creates more of a broader thing. But we're not necessarily saying. Last question. Uh, you mentioned, and uh, I guess this is, you said this is what you for sure suggests. Well, this is for the Philippine Human Rights Act, yeah, which is to, 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 to reduce uh, our support, military support for the Philippines. As far as I know, following uh, the Philippines' uh, politics, they have a huge problem uh, with the Muslim terrorists over there. They I occupy like the that, whole... I wouldn't say that's actually true. That, and also that would be maybe more isolated in Mindanao, but I think that's a distraction. Also, I mean, again, would you say that people should just be getting guns willy-nilly if they're executing people who literally have no connection to anything except being teachers who are being just saying like, you know, it's very easy to say, oh, well, that person's a Muslim terrorist. Uh -huh. That's why we killed them. And it's like, oh, what evidence do we even have of that, you know? Uh -huh. This is you, Dolores, speaking. No, this is me, <laughs> I uh, see. individual speaking. Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Um, but anyway, I need to keep having Sure. Up, okay. Please read up. Okay. Sure. All right. Today, that workers in this country, whether it's Amazon workers, Starbucks workers, laundry workers, Walmart workers, we show the power of workers. And I come here with my brothers and sisters from the labor movement. We enjoy the gateway to the middle class. That's what you see here. So they were just kind of like, they wanted to come around, right? And we're going to... How's the show going? I'm proud to represent all the flavor.